Hi there. So in this video, I want to talk about the coasting battery in the Mark 7 Golf, how it works, the main components, and a common fault that seems to be occurring. The fault you may be experiencing is the coasting function not working and an exclamation mark shown on the dash and in the radio display with the message, vehicle energy system, please go to the workshop. There will also be the fault code P25FF00, control unit for stabilization of the voltage supply malfunction stored in the control unit. So, what is the coasting function? Well, to save on fuel, the vehicle switches off the engine and disengages the dual clutch when in a speed range of about 40 to 130 kilometers per hour if there is no input from the accelerator pedal. In this condition, the vehicle can remain switched off until it comes to a complete stop. In a standard vehicle, if the engine was switched off, the vehicle electrical system would only be supplied with power from the 12 volt battery in the engine bay. For this reason, an additional battery has been installed to ensure safety related systems, such as the lighting, power steering, and brake regulation continue to be reliably supplied with power. The additional battery is a 12 volt lithium ion rechargeable battery, which is located under the front left passenger seat, and it's only connected during the coasting function and will supply the entire electrical system with power during this time. The original 12 volt engine battery will only be used again for the restarting of the engine if needed. The other part of the coasting system that you've just seen me removing in the video is the Q diode for the coasting battery. Boiled down to its most basic function, the Q diode is an electronic switch. It's closed when the engine is running to allow the alternator to charge the main vehicle battery and the coasting battery while also supplying the vehicle electrical system with power. During the coasting function with the engine switched off, the Q diode opens and supplies the vehicle with power from the coasting battery. And this is where the fault's occurring. The diode isn't always switching on and off when intended, and this is causing an unwanted voltage drop across the electrical system and can cause a load on the coasting battery itself. Over time, this will deplete the coasting battery, causing a failure of the unit or log a fault with the battery and switch the system off. So the repair. Well, this is a simple one, and that is to replace the Q diode as I've already done in this video. It's not really necessary to remove the air box and induction pipe like I did. I've only done that so you can see the removal and fitting with a better view. Now, if you're lucky, you can fully charge the battery overnight and your coasting battery may recover. If not, and the fault is still static and will not erase, you would also need to replace the coasting battery. As I said earlier, and you can see here, the battery is located under the front left passenger seat and is a simple procedure to replace. There's one bolt, two nuts, and two connector plugs. And well, I'm talking from experience here, so please learn from my mistake and don't do this as well. You can just replace the coasting battery and the fault will erase. The vehicle will operate fine, but after a few weeks or months, the battery will fail again if you do not replace the Q diode. And trust me, I've learned this the hard way. So to very quickly recap, if you have the fault code I mentioned earlier, then replace the Q diode. Charge your vehicle overnight, and if your batteries recover, you're fine and you can stop there. If you still have a static fault code, and it will not erase, you will need to replace your coasting battery as well. So I hope this video helps someone, and if you have any questions or comments, let me know below, and I will try and answer as many as I can. And thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.